In this video, we're going to create media placeholders. It would be too large of a file to actually embed a video. So what we're going to do is place a poster image, which is going... So I'm going to go down here to my mini bridge. And I can right click and say place. And then you just want to drag that up and resize it until it snaps to the size of this media placeholder. Then we can grab that rectangle and just throw it in the trash. And then move the video poster into the appropriate folder. And now I need to edit this poster image, so I'm just going to go to the layer pane and double click it. the icon and it's going to open it up independently since it's a smart object and I can edit it from here. We're going to try to dim down this picture so I duplicated the layers. I'm going to select black. I can then go to edit, fill, background and it's going to turn it black here in a second. got to switch these. Let's try that again. Edit, fill, background. Now it's going to be black. Well, then I'm going to go back to this layer and lower the opacity a bit so it kind of dims the picture. And I need to get a play button, so I'm going to grab my shape tool, custom shape tool, go up here under the custom shapes, and we're going to look for um, something that we can use as a play button. If you're not seeing all the shapes that you want, you can go back and choose the category of shapes that you're looking for and one of your best bets might be to just choose all and then search for that rounded rectangle and then going to draw that shape grab my move tool hover over the corner and rotate it to the side you can then double click the icon in the layers pane and change the color to white you can add a drop shadow by double clicking beside it, going to drop shadow, making the distance zero and the size maybe 10. I'm now going to grab my ellipse tool, hold down shift, draw a circle over this. I'm then going to drag that shape, that layer below the other layer. I'm going to grab my ellipse, drag it below the other layer, double click it, go up here to fill and say none stroke. We're going to turn it white and change the size here to about eight points. You can then grab your move tool and work on perfectly centering it. You can even use the align tools up here. Well, now I want to throw away this original poster that we had. And we want to place in the new poster that we just created. So I'm going to go down here to my mini bridge, right click, place. I can then drag it to snap to those guides, grab the corners to resize it. And now we have our media placeholder.